I'm Jason Bentley sitting in for Chris Doritas this morning on Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. And next up, we welcome the band Failure to the studios. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Hi. Good morning. Thanks for uh, thanks for getting up and uh, wiping the uh, boogers out of your eyes and getting it together. I snot. Yeah. So we have uh, we have Ken, Greg, Kelly, and Troy from Failure, and they have a few songs to uh, play for us. So these are all from the album Fantastic Planet. Yes. Um, actually, the first one's from our last album. Okay. To put things in perspective for a second here, this is your third album, and uh, it was released in August. And I, in fact, remember playing seven inches from you guys like back in 1990, 1991 at uh, at KXLU when I was when I was there. Wow. So you've you've been around, you've been yes, around. We have. This album was finished in 1995, and you're kind of in uh, record label limbo for a minute there. <laughs> kind of one uh, very long minute. Yeah, long minute. And uh, but 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 Ken, you were actually involved in quite a few projects uh, during that time. Um, yeah, right. Right after we finished um, this album, we um, Greg and I did something with um, one of the guys from Tool and another one of our friends called Replicants, which is uh, um, us doing a bunch of weird versions of uh, cover songs, various cover songs. And then um, after that, I did uh, I produced a couple bands, um, a band called Molly McGuire and another record for a band called Blink of the Star. They're both out now. Very cool. Okay, well, without further ado, because we're running a bit late, let's let's hear some music. It's it's the band Failure on Morning Becomes Eclectic.
It's Failure, live in the studios of KCRW. That song's called Burning, and it's correct, that's from your second album, Magnified. Yeah, that's that correct. That? That's the right. song's called Bernie. Bernie, sorry. Bernie, as in the name. Congratulations on the uh, on the record, Fantastic Planet. I had some time to uh, spend with it uh, this past weekend. It's very good. I like it a lot. Tell us about the recording process for Fantastic Planet, as it, uh, as I understand, it differed a bit from the way that you approached the first two records. Yeah, all three of them have been pretty different. Um, first one was kind of a, well, definitely a different lineup than we have today. Um, that was uh, me, Greg, and our uh, first drummer, Robert, um, uh, going into the studio with uh, Mr. Steve Albini, <laughs> Mr. Andy Rock, and. Um, then the second one, when, and that was kind of like uh, write, writing songs in the rehearsal studio, and, and we played shows, and then we recorded an album, sort of standard um, method. And then for the second one, we did the other standard method, which is... Discovering that you did write songs. Yeah, you know, we wrote songs on a four-track and demoed them, and then we sort of re-recorded re them in the studio, which was a little bit of a disappointing experience for us. I mean, we were happy, a lot happier with the way that record turned out. But both of those, do, doing both of those records, I think, brought us to um, deciding to kind of do the this um, Fantastic Planet album in a different way, which was um, sort of write and record as we went along, almost one song at a time. Um, and the only problem with that is that it ended up taking us about seven months. Um, but it was a much, much more satisfying experience, and um, we really felt that we finally have sort of uh, found a good way for us to work. Yeah, it's great. Let's check out music from the uh, from the album Fantastic Planet. What's this next song? Uh, this song is Stuck on You. Okay, Failure, live on KCRW. Telephone. I hear your mid-range moan. 
You're everywhere inside my room Even when I'm alone I hear your mellow drone You're everywhere inside of me Stuck on you Very nice. The song Stuck on You, performed live by Failure here in the studios of KCRW. Uh, Ken, tell me about the video for this song. I, I understand it's a, it's a very cool one, and you had a lot to do with the uh, the whole creative process of this uh, video. Um, well, like most most evenings up at the house when we were recording the album, we watched films, rent, rented movies and stuff, and I, I'm not sure if it was the night after we finished the song Stuck on You, but it was around the same time we were finishing the song. Um, we watched one of my favorite um, Bond films, The Spy Loved Me, and as we were watching the title sequ sequence, we just happened to be talking about the eventuality of having to do a video, and it just, I don't know, everything came together in the universe and right there. And So it has a Bond theme. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty much like the title sequences in Bond films, silhouettes, um, colored backgrounds. Actually, it is the title sequence. We just uh, <laughs> lifted it. <laughs> there, there's uh, clearly a connection with uh, the film world here as, as Fantastic Planet, at least the name, is inspired by a, a French film from the 70s? That's uh, correct, 1973. And the way that the, way that the record's kind of laid out is also it has, uh, it has inter brief interludes. It's kind of like a, like a film short, you know, like a, like a film. Um, We, I think we just ended up, you know, as a distraction from doing the record 24-7 for so many months, we just, instead of listening to other people's CDs and music, we just ended up watching movies more. Yeah. Well, the Fantastic Planet had been a staple of our viewing for, at least mine, for a year. four years. Oh, much. really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and we had a poster, a uh, promotional poster up on the wall in the control room. And like the second day, I just decided that the I second day of recording. The second day we were in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a little bit further along. No. Why don't you guys? Uh, remember I said. Why don't you introduce yourselves and uh, what you, what you play real quick before you go into the next song? Uh, my name's Ken. I play guitar and sing. My name's. Go Ken. ahead. Thanks. <laughs> my name's Greg. I play bass, and. Uh, Try to sing back up. My name is Troy, and I play guitar, and I also try to sing backup vocals. I'm Kelly, and I just play drums. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking into a drum mic, I think over there, Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's, we got him boxed in there. And don't be confused. The boy in the plastic bubble today. <laughs> Eagle Eye Child. Uh, yeah. So what's uh, what's the next song we're gonna hear? Uh, this is, um, the nurse. The nurse, the nurse, the nurse who loved, who loved, me. loved me. Another bond, uh, kind of. Let's do it. A failure live on KCRW. And this is me playing piano, but uh, this isn't the bass. Right. 
He got ready to go. The bass is coming off. Oh, right, right. And he's making his way over to the piano now. Switching instruments here in this uh, fish tank of the studio we have. Say hello to the road's topography. It holds quite a lot of interest with your face down on it. Say hello to the shrinking in your head. You can't see it, but you know it's there, so don't neglect it. Taking her home with me All dressed in white She's got everything I need Pharmacy keys She's falling hard for me I can see it in her eyes She acts just like a nurse on Morning Becomes Eclectic. You guys sound great this morning, and you are uh, here on uh, the beginning of a tour, which will continue through the end of November, and you'll be performing tonight in Santa Barbara, yes, at uh, Toes Tavern? <laughs> yes. So, and uh, it continues uh, through to Berkeley, San Francisco, and you're rounded out in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and you're with Soul Coughing, so that's very cool. Is uh, mm. is the show tonight also with Soul Coughing at Toast Tavern? Next? No, this first week is is without them. 
and then we start supporting them, I think, on the 15th. Uh, just getting routed over to them. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shuttled over. Yeah. Shuttled to Chicago. It's wonderful to have you here, and uh, you sound great. The album Fantastic Planet is out and available. And we're actually going to um, give people a, a chance at uh, some autographed copies of that CD. Do you guys have another song that you, that you can play for us? We've got about uh, eight oh. more minutes, if you can do. Well, we'd have to do some switching around. We kind of discussed this earlier. I can uh, have to walk across if, the you want, If you want to give us a break, can we can we take a break? Or? Uh, well, we got eight minutes to work with. How much of a break? I could do well, the giveaway. I'll do the giveaway, you guys try and get I can always play the CD, too, if, if you want. So, uh, We have five autographed copies of Failure's latest CD, Fantastic Planet, for our subscribers. If you haven't won any giveaways from us in the past 90 days, then call us with your member number at 310-452-6700. These CDs are available to our subscribers on a first-come, first-served basis. That's five autographed copies of Failure's latest CD, Fantastic Planet for our subscribers. Good luck to you. How are we doing, guys? We're not. Uh, we're not. <laughs> you sacked the idea, all right. Ken's well, I have, I have queued up the song uh, Solaris. Oh, I have a, oh hey. That, is that cool? Hey, yeah, that'll was, make everyone feel better. I was going to uh, suggest that okay. in okay. lieu of... <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks for coming down and being on Great, Great. Eclectic. Sounded great. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you. Everybody, go check them out tonight in Santa Barbara at Toe's Tavern and pick up the record. And here's music from this album, Fantastic Planet. It's Solaris from Failure on KCRW. Another one. Thank you. 